I'm Catherine Paul Morris. My book is Young God, and it's about a 13 year old girl who takes over her father's drug dealing business. Mind over matter, but the matter is the fact that we live with no time to give. I found we throwing money at our kids and they starving for knowledge and I can see their ribs. No ambition for college, they sitting at the crib. Selling drugs, probably be the next getting killed on the block. Uh, so I just wanted to ask you guys about uh, creating stories and like what place has to do with creating stories. Okay, well, uh for me, my book is set where I grew up, which is in the Appalachian Mountains in North Carolina, the home of both Moonshine and NASCAR. So, <laughs> With the writing of my Rebirth album, it was uh, just basically my life. Um, the things I had been going through the last past two years, uh, dealing with my family and my little brother being incarcerated. And so it's just like a confessional album. So obviously some memoir aspects to your, no uh, to your album. Yeah. Um, and obviously some of your telling of your own stories, but this is a work of fiction. It is. It is um, not autobiographical. My you, father, you're not a drug kingpin. I'm not a drug kingpin, unfortunately, nor am I 13. <laughs> um, nor is my father a big coke dealer. But um, I think that all... You know, it's fiction, but I think it's really hard to write fiction without yourself in it, and everyone who says that is kind of lying. So, uh, of course it's me, and you can totally psychologically analyze me by reading this book. <laughs> <laughs> You're reading the book right now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So t talk to us a little bit about it. Um, You know what, though? I didn't even know what to expect, <laughs> God, like, because I read the back, and it was like, she lives in uh, Brooklyn with her, uh, in New York with her husband and two pit bulls. I'm like, okay, that's that's pretty gangster, like two pit bulls. Like, I didn't know what to expect. I was like, okay, so I crack open the book, and then I start to read it, and I'm like, whoa, okay, this is crazy. And uh, no, it's definitely a great read. I don't want to spoil the ending for anybody, but um, it's definitely a great read. Uh, very detailed and just like. It's a movie in words, cause I was hearing some, some, some pretty graphic shit, and I like the drug references too. Like they dropping back ecstasy. I was like, this shit is real, like yeah. for real. Well, yeah, I mean, the drug stuff is actually mostly true. Not, I have never killed anyone, but <laughs> the drug stuff is mostly true. What does it mean uh, to to get out a little bit? I'd love to hear you guys talk about what it means to still be there and obviously for this place to be so important to you that you use it in your art constantly but to uh to at the same time here you are in new york here you are celebrating the release of your first novel like what is what does it mean how does it feel uh it feels good it was uh <laughs> um yeah it's a weird thing leaving because you kind of can't it's true you really can't go back and people feel differently about you and um and it's kind of a betrayal in a sense, yeah. I think. I understand, you know, how yeah. it feels to like, once you leave to do something positive, coming back, it's like everybody is still doing the same negative stuff, you know, and it kind of pulls you down in a way. But, you know, I just look at my situation as like a symbolism of hope. People see me doing stuff differently. I mean, I was subjected to the same things they were, you know, doing. I was doing the same stuff, you know. Um, I'm not some angel or nothing like that, you know. I know nobody is perfect, you know. So what I come from, I was actually a product of that. But me actually doing something different, even being up here amongst all of these people was something different, you know, because I come from a total different walk of life from probably mostly everybody in here, you know. And it's just a beautiful thing. And it uh, symbolizes hope, though, for my family. So I come back and I actually show them the things that I'm doing. And hopefully it'll just, you know, change their mindset. Some people, there's just no hope for them. But, I mean, all you could do is just, like, pray for people, I guess, you know, and just mm -hmm. stay positive and keep doing what you're doing. So that's, that's just what I'm doing right now. Let's go. In the hood trying to make it out. So tell me what you mad about. Rappers in my city don't want me to make a route. Jackers gon' jack, so I'm prepared to take them out. Baby's on the way and I ain't got a dime. Just a chopper to my name in these book of rhymes. All alone in the room with this crooked mind. Watching rappers' videos, knowing I can take their shine. Can't tell me, be patient and take my time. I've been struggling too long, now I'm taking mine.